Eda, good morning. Ah. Eda! Eda! Eh, eh! Eda, good morning. I didn't agree with you just now. My picky, uh, good morning. How are you? Eda, I'm fine. Hmm. Hope all is well. Oh, all, all is well by his grace. Uh, all Eda. is well. Eda, what is the problem? Uh, hmm. The way your face is, I've never seen you in this kind of mood. Oh! I am worried, my Peking. I am worried. I cannot sleep anymore. Eh? I fear for my nation, Nigeria. Uh, I fear for my nation, Nigeria. I can't sleep anymore. Uh, because uh, of what is going on in the world. I can't sleep. And you want to know why? Eh? Hope you have been watching the news of recent. News? Hope you are aware that the Taliban have overtook the government of Afghanistan. Uh, mm -hmm, yeah. Seriously? Yes, now. Nah. The Taliban have overtook the government of Afghanistan after US and other foreign countries pull out their troops from Afghanistan. Yo. Yes, yeah, nah. Yo. See ya now. See ya now. I cannot I cannot be old that a terrorist organization is not sitting in the presidential villa in Afghanistan. Oh. So the people, they run, they are trying to run away from the country, their own father's land, their mother's land, their own place where they can they run to. I was watching news and people, they move, then they strap themselves to aeroplane when one carry the run come off from their country. So people we are falling off from the sky. Just so they cannot be under slavery to this Taliban organization. And here I am in Nigeria. I'm worried. <laughs> but Eda, how does it relate to Nigeria here now? Now you listening, my Peking. You know that this was possible. The Taliban was able to oh, able to take over Afghanistan as a result of their presence in the Afghanistan military. Mm -hmm. Because they get personnel inside the Afghanistan military. So it was so easy for them to overpower the government and the military of that country. Wow. And now you remember Nigeria of recent now. And <laughs> Boko Haram, more than 500 of them. They are becoming that they said they are repentant Boko Haram. Uh -uh. Yes, now. Nah. And our Nigerian government will want to do they say, okay, we want to rehabilitate them. We want to incorporate them into the military so that they can fight for a nation they are once destroyed. Uh -huh. You are bringing people that have decided to say that we shall be no Nigeria. That Nigeria must be an Islamic state. You are bringing them into the military. Mm. <laughs> you said they should go and fight for the country. They were vowed to kill. Mm. Oh, sorrow, agony, and pains. And you wonder why I am worried. I am worried because these people when don't destroy communities. How can you just wake up, enter community, slaughter the people there? You slaughter them. You finish them. You have you have decided to be inhuman to people. You come outside now. You say you don't repent. Repent. Now they are not putting you. People. If they don't carry them, go abroad. They go carry the poor boys inside Nigeria military. <laughs> and you say I should not be worried. My picking, I'm worried. Because by the time set, these are the people that we are going to disembark on the Nigerian government. Because they don't know how far inside. They don't know how the way and the movement inside the Nigerian military. Yes, no. So it will be very easy for them very to take easy. over. I wait for our presidency. I wait for the Senate. I wait for the House of Red. Our leaders have failed us once again. <laughs> and our people now that they're busy, they watch Big Brother Nigeria. They don't know what they go on. They are watching Big Brother Nigeria. They are busy going to party and what have you in this other part of the country, the south, south, the west of this country, Nigeria. Where in the north they have a sleepless night. People can no longer live in their house anymore because the insurgents, Boko Haram, have decided to say, hey, they want to destroy this country. And here we are, our government, they put them into military. That they rehabilitate people. Yeah. Don't you think that's a strategy for them to gain access into the military, yes, into now. the society? Yes, now. We Very are complaining easy. that nowhere is safe. The Nigerian road is not safe. Kidnapping, full and airsmen everywhere. 
we are complaining of that. That is not enough. Now, now they want to put there for a ministry. They want to put there for ministry. My brother, <laughs> if God is not taken, if nothing is done, just the way we would they watch Afghanistan. Now, so we would they watch Nigeria. May God forbid. God forbid. Though. May God forbid. Ah. Anybody who I say Nigeria not go see the future, that person not go see future. Amen. Now, so I go be oh, my ah. picking. I'm worried. Ah. Ada, it is well. Oh. It is well. It is well. Shame on you, leaders. Mm.